First at noon, Pfizer could soon take a critical role in the COVID-19 battle. The company announced today the start of a trial for a potential COVID-19 vaccine. A portion of its manufacturing will happen in Portage. That's where we find News 8's Martin Dieters. He joins us live with reaction from the governor. Martin. Yeah, Tom, this announcement has been greeted with excitement and hope here in Portage and worldwide. Here's what's happening. Pfizer tells us that people are already participating in a clinical trial for the so-called BNT-162 vaccine program. This is in partnership with a German-based company that is already doing trials in Europe. The first stages of U.S. testing will take place in New York, Baltimore, and Cincinnati. The initial manufacturing will take place here in Portage with other Pfizer sites joining in later. The plan here is to test the vaccine on 360 healthy volunteers for the first stage of the study, adding up to 8,000 volunteers by the end of the second stage. The hope is that this trial can cut down the time it is expected to take to develop a vaccine, which most experts say would be at least 18 months. Now here is what Gre Governor Gretchen Whitmer had to say about the trials today. Everyone wants to be out of a stay home order. And yet we know too that if you listen to epidemiologists and our public health experts, we can't resume normal life until we have a vaccine. So the fact that there are human trials going on and that Pfizer has announced that they're gonna be producing here in Michigan, I think is a, a wonderful thing. It's not imminent, but it is on the horizon and I think we need to find those sources of inspiration. We are all struggling in this moment of this global pandemic where thousands of people are dying a day in our country. We've lost over 4,000 people in the state of Michigan. And so we take this very seriously. We do everything we can to prevent the spread of COVID-19. It's not gone. We've seen a plateau, but it's still here. And that's why we've still got to be vigilant. At five and six, we'll tell you about how this potential vaccine could work and what it could mean in terms of ending this pandemic. In Portage, Barton Dieters, News 8. All right, Barton Dieters reporting live for us. Thank you, Bart.